This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. The ninth prophecy is that his hands and his feet would be pierced. This prophecy was given 1000 BC. It was given in Psalm, the 22nd Psalm, which is an amazing Psalm, by the way, that just actually depicts what happened at the cross. You should read it sometime, the 22nd Psalm. In that Psalm, uh, verse 18 says, For dogs encompass me, a company of evildoers encircles me. And dogs doesn't literally mean like puppies. It, it's referring to, to people. For dogs encompass me, a company of evildoers encircles me. They have pierced my hands and feet. And it was fulfilled uh, in Mark chapter 15, verse 25, and it was the third hour when they crucified him. Now, crucifixion, as we all know, that's the way they did crucifixion. They would take the, the, the hands, they were pierced, uh, and they would take the feet. And a lot of times, the feet, you know, we always, we always look at this and say, how did they nail his feet? Uh, we have archaeological evidence now that shows that the feet were actually turned sideways and then nailed so that you were actually standing on your feet sideways, putting weight on your feet sideways with, with the, uh, the spike in your feet. Incredibly painful. And, uh, and then later, uh, when Jesus rose from the dead, remember it was Thomas when they said, oh, you know, the, the Lord is, has, has appeared to us. And Thomas says, look, I'm not sure I can believe that. Not unless I see the holes in his hands and his feet. They understood that was the form of crucifixion. And sure enough, the prophecy that was given, and by the way, the prophecy that was given back a thousand years before, crucifixion didn't even exist then. Roman government wasn't around doing crucifixion then. And yet it was given a thousand years before it happened, and here it was, Jesus was crucified, fulfilling that prophecy. On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Class, we want to thank you for watching.